Uh, big game, big road trip for us. We know uh, going to be a great challenge. UNC Wilmington, great program. Uh, Coach Siddle's done an incredible job building their program and in a really hot ball club right now. Hot team won five games in a row and do a lot of a lot of really good things on both sides of the ball. So going to be a great challenge for our guys in a hostile environment. ECU, UNCW goes back quite a ways. Have you just maybe gotten somewhat of a feel for kind of what the, the rivalry has been? Yeah, you know, I think you can feel it uh, just because they're a really good program, great university. I think we got a great fan base, great program, great university, and the proximity of the schools, and I've heard people talk about it. The other thing is, it, you know, it's, I have a little history with UNC Wilmington in terms of knowing some of the coaches that I've been fortunate enough to work with, Frank Haith, Rodney Terry, uh, Coach Jerry Wainwright, who to me is just one of the, the, the best people and best coaches that there is. You know, all coached there. Coach Wainwright was a head coach there. You know the lineage of coaches they've had there. So I've been to Trask Coliseum. I've seen it. I know the environment that, that we're about to step into. But just great respect for their program, and, and they've done really well in basketball. And, um, you know, again, I've been fortunate enough to hear about the rivalry over the years, and especially my time here, I've already heard about it, yes. This team is top 10 in the country in taking care of the basketball. You pride yourself on defense, lead the offense. How can your team kind of learn from this game? I know it's prior to the game, but and take that into conference play. Well, our defense is nowhere where I'm hoping we can get it to, and, and, and you know, obviously we'd love her to be at its best Tuesday night. And, uh, but, but that being said, we just give so much respect to their program and their guards and how they take care of the ball. Anytime you can average nine turnovers a game right in that range, I mean, they, they have great ball security. They take care of the basketball, and they play an aggressive style on offense, too. It's not like they're just holding the basketball. So, you know, obviously their players, their coaching staff, they've done a great job with establishing that. From our standpoint, we have to continue to try and do what we do well, and we would like to force turnovers, but by the same point, we got to make sure that we – protect we can't give them easy baskets at, at the rim and they're good at going to get those so it's going to be a great challenge for us but you, you know we'll see what we can learn after the game but we have to be a lot better on defense than we are right now their full court pressure and kind of the, their speed transition how much of a concern is that or do you feel like you guys have some pretty good guard play to kind of combat that? you know i like our guard play in terms of that we practice against it every day um, again, I don't think we are where we want to be defensively. We've had moments where we have been and it's been effective, but we practice against that every day. And so I think what they do, at least we will have some familiarity with it because we do practice against it every day in terms of the pressure or the full court defense or trying to create turnovers. They do a good job creating turnovers. They have really good guard play. So I think there'll be some similarities in terms of the, our styles both ways, offensively and defensively. Uh, but you got to go do it on a road court in an environment with a with an older team that's won five games in a row and playing really good basketball. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Is it important not to get, I don't know, too sped up in a game like that on the road where maybe guys try to do too much against that style? Yeah, I'm sure. You know, you have to try it. Motions will be high both ways, and I know our guys will be excited in terms of just the atmosphere. We know what, what, what it's going to bring in terms of the fan bases, and I know we'll have a, a nice uh, – you know, fan base of Pirate Nation that will be there. So that'll be fantastic. But yeah, I think you just got to keep your uh, nerves calm. You got to stay and, and stay poised because they're going to bring an intensity on defense and offense. And if you get sped up and you get sped up early, obviously it can lead to runs, and especially when you're on the road. What, what are your thoughts on Shaquem Phillips from then? He's a local kid, played at South Central. Uh, what, what have you just seen from him? Yeah, I mean, he's a dynamic scorer, dynamic player. He's had success well beyond just this year. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I haven't been here long enough to know the whole lineage of him going to UNC Wilmington. But, you know, I think there's great – I've said this many times, and this includes the Wilmington area. There's great basketball in, in this part of the state, in this whole state, and the eastern part of the state. So when you have a local kid at, at South Central, which is a great program, we know their coaching staff – I mean, he went to Wilmington and, he, and he's doing really well. And, you know, you're proud of him because he's done that. He's a local guy. So in terms of what we're going to face, um, I think the fact that he's local doesn't make it any different. He's a dynamic player that's a, a really talented guard, one of the best guards there is in terms of in their conference. And he happens to be we're playing against him tonight, you know. Do you guys, uh, is this part of a like a home and home? Do they come back next year? Yes. Uh, when, when we started this series, uh, we're going to play three times, and they're going to come to Greenville the next two years. And the only way that, uh, you know, that we were able to agree on this is if we went on the road first. Gotcha. Anything else? Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.